All new this Tuesday morning, we are reminded it is no secret how important it is to be inclusive. Students and staff at an elementary school in Suffolk take inclusivity very seriously, and their mission all started because of lunch. So today for lunch, guys, it's pizza. In Mrs. Mascaloni's fourth grade classroom at Nanziman Parkway Elementary School, students are learning about lunch. Take a closer look. So cheese, pizza, pepperoni, like you're putting the pepperoni on, pizza. Sign language, that is what Mrs. Mascaloni is teaching the kids. I have many deaf family members. I also have deaf friends. And I took sign language in um, high school and college. Kind of fate, then, that a food nutrition service associate in the cafeteria is deaf. This is Lisa Duckwall. Before Mrs. Mascaloni stepped in, kids had their own way of sharing what they wanted for lunch. I decided because I noticed that when they go in there, they're all pointing. So this teacher felt it was time to teach the kids a new life skill, starting with their lunch order. After your utensils, what do you get? Milk. Milk. Fourth grader Michaela Waddell loves being able to communicate with Mrs. Duckwall. Sometimes it almost makes me cry because <laughs> I'm so excited that I'm learning it and I'm happy that I'm learning it because it's nice. Her classmate, Brooklyn Wilson, agrees. I always wanted to learn it and I can talk to other people that are deaf. All of Mrs. Mascaloni's students know how to sign their order. When the principal, Dr. Janet Wright Davis, learned of this language lesson, she made a decision. October is Disability Awareness Month. Let's teach the whole school. We all practice every morning on the announcements. This week they learned thank you. Good manners, kindness, and inclusivity. Some of the best lessons in life. Oh, it makes me cry. <laughs> I tear up, um, especially to see how happy she is. Dr. Wright Davis tells me she initially planned to only have students learn sign language for the month of October. She said she changed that though, and now students will learn to sign one word per week through the end of the school year.